Hello. Well, today, uh, you know, uh, well, it's Independence Day here in America, so uh, happy 4th of July to all Americans <laughs> like myself. Um, um, but also, today I wanted to talk about the uh, bike riders. Um, I am actually filming this on, yeah, uh, June 25th. Um, but, um, I already had a video last week, so I thought I'll put this on uh, next week. This film is directed by, uh, uh, uh at Jeff Nichols. I'm sorry, the, <laughs> the, for a moment, like the, could see his face but the name just kind of went out of my mind for whatever reason but um yeah jeff nichols uh i haven't really seen many movies from him uh, the only one i've really seen is mud with matthew mcconaughey um and uh i've seen bits and pieces of uh, uh take shelter um uh, which stars Michael Shannon, who was also in this film. Um, but he's not the main character, nor was he in Mud, um, because Jeff Nichols actually casts Michael Shannon in every film he has ever made so far. Um, but the film, you know, is uh, uh, inspired by true events, but, you know... Uh, uh, the, the real-life... You know, biker club turned gang was um, the uh, Chicago Outlaws. While um, you know, um, in the film, they're the Vandals, um, and the club was started by Tom Hardy, who plays Johnny. There's also Benny, played by uh, Austin Butler. Kathy is played by. Uh, Jody Comer, um, she, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, Betty get, uh, get married, and, um, uh, Damon Harriman, uh, plays Johnny's right-hand man, um, and of course, Michael Shannon is in this film, um, uh, I remember uh, Damon Harriman from uh, Justified. If you ever saw that show, he was on there. He was also Charles Manson in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which also has uh, Austin Butler as uh, uh, um, Tex. Um, part of the Manson family. Um, so, you know, some people who are in this new film were in this Tarantino film. Um, and yeah, the whole, you know, the film starts, it just shows sort of like how the, um, you know, the club came to be and as time went on, you know, the more members came in, you know, how it became, started to become more of a gang. Um, uh, uh, you know, the, you know, the, uh, is, this film was based off of a book, um, a photo book, uh, and somebody is playing the author of the film. Off the top of my head, I cannot remember his name, um, but... You know, throughout the film, he's interviewing uh, Kathy about, you know, uh, about uh, the club and gang and how just sort of has time went on, what all uh, occurred. Like, talks about Johnny and some of the other members, as well as, of course, Benny and how they fell in love with him and, um, uh, 
Norman Reedus shows up uh, from the Boondock Saints in The Walking Dead. <laughs> Obviously, you know, he shows up and joins the Vandals. And yeah, as you know, as the story goes on and the uh, um, uh, group gets bigger, it becomes more of a gang. You know, they start doing things like drugs and uh, violence escalates. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, it, it's. It's a very good film. You know, it's a new film. It came out, you know, June 21st. Um, it was supposed to come out last year, but due to the strikes and all, they postponed it. Even yeah, though it actually probably could have made the original date of December. But, uh, you know... Probably wanted to make sure all the performers could actually show up and promote the movie as opposed to, you know, it's just the director as well as, uh, you know, uh, other people, like producers involved, um, which I'm sure wouldn't have been bad if that was the entire uh, thing for, but, you know, it probably would have been very, uh, uneventful you know like people would want to hear like say like the tom hardy on a, in an interview or two or so you know people would want to hear what he has to say about his part as well as the film itself and all the others jody comer austin butler and everybody uh, it, it premiered at telluride last year uh at, the, at a film festival but then yeah, they pushed it back to summer 2014, or 2024, 2014, yeah, 10 years ago, they pushed it uh, back, uh, back in the past, yeah, they went all the way 10 years ago, yeah. I'm a little tired, if you couldn't tell, but um, I'm coherent enough to just basically give the gist of the film, and uh, overall, I like it, I enjoy it, I thought it was a very good film, um, the acting was good. The story was good. Um, again, things have no doubt changed uh, a bit here and there because, considering it's inspired by an actual uh, motorcycle, you know, gang. Uh, you never know. They, no doubt, they had to change some things so that way the gang wouldn't be overtly upset. Even though this takes place from the like 65 to 71, you know, that was like the time period of the book where the guy taking pictures and also was like recording audio for the book and everything, how to write it with the accompanying pictures, how, uh, you know, you know, he was a part of that group and uh, apparently by the author's own admission, he was a little more insane at times than some of the members who are sort of more hardcore I don't know. He apparently he talked to Hunter S. Thompson who had of course done the Hell's Angels book and he like told him to join the gang and wear a helmet and all this and he, but <laughs> this dude he just kind of did just whatever he's like I'm doing my own thing thank you um but yeah this uh is a pretty good film um you know there are there is violence um, um, and language and such, but, uh, it's a very good film. Um, I would say if you don't know too much about it, maybe watch a trailer or two and see if it intrigues you. If so, maybe check it out. If not, uh, I guess probably, uh, Wait till it's like on out on home video and streaming and all that. But uh, I think it's worth seeing in the theater. Uh, I enjoyed it. And there was a good amount of people yeah, in there uh, today. Today as I'm recording this in June. Not today when you're seeing it. But um, 
yeah it, it was a very good film um it's worth watching um it makes me it definitely makes me want to watch some of other uh jeff nichols's other movies probably already watched mud at some point um and i might just track down maybe some of his other movies i actually did kind of want to look and see what all he did and yeah it doesn't see it seems like a lot of his stuff is pretty reasonable in terms of like blu-rays and stuff so Maybe sometime in the near future, you know, I'll get those and watch them. If I enjoy them enough, probably talk about them here. Eh, but, yeah. I hope you're doing well. hope you're all having a great day and a great weekend. I know this isn't a long video, but I didn't really want it to be long because, again, it's a new movie. And, uh, yeah, go see it if you want. Hope you're all doing well. And just take care.